along the southwestern coastline of Africa, where the stormy waters of the Atlantic Ocean meets the majestic dunes of the Namib Desert, lies the harbour town of Walfis Bay. This fisherman's place and historical whale hunting town's strategic geographical location offers direct access to principal shipping routes, rendering it a natural gateway for international trade. It turned Walfis Bay into an industrial mecca on the Namibian coastline. Nature's most splendid sights afford the human eye a feast of grandeur, as this coastal town charms with giant sand dunes at its seams and countless flamingos, pelicans and other sea birds that have made the salt pans in the lagoon their home. It is here that the fiery waves of the Atlantic are tamed by man and pumped into ponds for the forces of nature to take its course and produce the white gold of the Namib that eventually finds its way to various markets and kitchens around the world. This is how Walfus Bay Salt Holdings established ourselves as the salt people of Sub-Saharan Africa, passionate about delivering salt at its best. Walfus Bay Salt Holdings humbly started in 1964 with the production of salt by evaporating seawater, producing a mere 50,000 tons of salt per annum. We have since grown exponentially in stature and size. Currently, the entire salt production process is run jointly by two companies, Salt and Chemicals, responsible for the actual production and harvesting, and Walfis Bay Salt Refiners, responsible for washing, packing, and marketing. We are part of the broader CAH group, with business interests in Botswana and South Africa too. With more than 5,500 hectares of salt pans, we have become the largest producer of solar sea salt in sub-Saharan Africa. We process over 60 million tons of seawater to produce in excess of 950,000 tons of high-quality salt annually. The company is well respected in the mining and manufacturing sectors of Namibia, contributing significantly to the local economy. We are committed to enhancing local value addition in support of our government's Growth at Home strategy, aimed at developing Namibia into an industrialized country. At Walvis Bay Salt Holdings, we pride ourselves in our products of excellence. The solar evaporation of seawater over 18 to 24 months produces pure sodium chloride. Thereafter, salt crystals are harvested, washed, dried and stored to yield chemical grade or general purpose salt. Salt quality is constantly monitored at an on-site laboratory. In addition, product quality is also verified by an accredited independent laboratory. Coarse salt is packed at a bagging facility according to customer-specific requirements, including package identification and particle size distribution. The product can be iodated to customer specification before bagging. Salt destined for bulk exports is transported by road from the on-site stockpiles to the bulk storage facility at the harbour. From here, the product is transported by conveyor via the company-owned loading facility into the ship's lime-washed holds at the Walfis Bay port, which loads 24-7 at a rate of 10,000 metric tons per day. We produce for our Namibian market and export regionally and also to countries in West Africa, East Africa and Europe. Our investment in an 80,000 tons per annum state-of-the-art refinery, a Kango Salt Refiners, puts Walfis Bay Salt Holdings at the forefront of becoming a fully integrated, world-class sea salt producer and the leading salt producer in Africa. Ekango produces triple refined table salt for the Southern African market, including Angola, the Democratic Republic of Congo, Botswana and Zambia. The recent acquisition of the Cerebos business and trademarks by the CAH Group 
further create significant opportunities for growth and expansion of the company's markets, especially in the refined salt sector. The company is fully compliant, holding ISO 9001, OSIS 18001, and HACCP certifications. Certifications with halal and kosher authorities are confirmed annually. Our history involves more than just the capital investment in our infrastructure, enabling us to meet market demands and adapt to ever-changing economic conditions. Supplementing capital investments, the success of Walfish Bay Salt Holdings also relies, above all else, on its passion for its human capacity. A team of visionary individuals, understanding that success is only attainable if synergy exists between the human complement of a company, its management and the goal set for the future has unlocked the vast potential of the company. Not only do we care about our employees, we also create opportunities in the workplace and assist employees to grow. Through honoring these principles, we are constantly raising productivity and breeding fertile ground for success. Education and development of our staff remain an integral part of our corporate social responsibility. Our commitment extends beyond our workplace. The vast need for engineers and technicians in the country prompted us to assist maths and science education through a structured program. One of the company's social responsibility projects comprises the utilization of some of its pans for the production of oysters of exceptional quality. The oysters are exported to markets internationally. We operate within the Walfish Bay Lagoon Ramsar site, which is an internationally recognized site of ecological importance. Flamingos and other waders are a common sight, with up to 120,000 birds counted and more than 60 different species identified during the company-supported annual bird count event. This wetlands area, together with the adjacent Walfus Bay estuary, is considered one of the 10 most important wetlands in Africa. Walfus Bay Salt Holdings is a proud Namibian corporate citizen, valuing our people and with a vision to grow locally and internationally to become a world-class, fully integrated producer of high-quality sea salt products. We treat all stakeholders with respect and sensitivity. We continuously seek opportunities to deliver greater value and to continue building on our legacy of the past prosperous 50 plus years. The white gold of the Namib may not be considered a high-value commodity. However, as seawater is a renewable resource, our strategies for growth and continuous improvement will assure our existence for years to come and ensure that Walfish Bay Salt Holdings will continue standing tall as the salt giant of Africa.